to the channel cooking with manual focus and today we're going to be doing two style ribs we'll be hitting you with the baby back and then the st louis style ribs so we're going to be doing the same methods on both same seasoning putting in that pit pause lexington smoker and then bringing it out tasting it see which one we like best so let's go down to the workstation and we'll see you guys in a minute all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with some all-purpose seasoning so we're going to hit it with the usual and you know I'm outside, man. So you got a little, little fly action that wanna, you know, happen. But you wanna apply this generously, you know, on your ribs. And this all-purpose seasoning got everything that I need, you know, to make some flavorful, weird, flavorful ribs. So we're gonna do, you know, both ribs, same rub, same seasoning. And again, you wanna generously season your ribs. And then you'll let them sit and you'll let them sweat a little bit so that um, seasoning can definitely infuse into those ribs. So we'll flip this over on the back side and do the same for both. And you can see, you know, the difference in the rib type where you got the baby back rib, you know, has more of that curve, you know, shape to it. And then that St. Louis style rib is more of a flat rib. So the St. Louis style rib is more along the belly region and then that baby back rib is more along like the the shoulder lines of the um the pig so that's why you got you know the different different styles right so these are seasoned you know pretty good like i said you want to make sure that they're well seasoned and um achieve the color and everything that you want when it's smoking so we're going to smoke these on 300 degrees and then we'll let it go for 45 minutes on the um the back side then we'll let it go 45 minutes on the meat side then we'll take them out wrap them in full and then we'll go from there and then we'll show you how to make them things nice and tender so that's what you got baby back ribs and then your st louis style so let's let's let these things sit for about 15 20 minutes like i said let them sweat a little bit and then we're gonna go from there. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we got our grill up to tip right. So we got this at 300 degrees, and we're gonna be cooking both ribs. Um, 45 minutes, bone side down, and then we'll turn it 45 minutes on the meat side. Then we'll take it out and wrap it after that. So you got your baby back ribs here st louis style and we'll come back and see these in 45 minutes all right so it's been 45 minutes and we're going to flip these bad boys and cook them on that meat side now so that's your st louis style again and then here's your baby bag all right we're gonna go in another 45 minutes and then we're going to see how they look and then possibly wrap them. All right, so we'll see you guys in a little so bit. we're about ready for the ribs to come out. So we're going to get a couple of slices of butter and we're going to put them in our wrap, right? So just get your butter, just a couple of slices here and there. And this is going to keep, you know, keep those ribs moist. And then we're going down with some brown sugar. Right. And it's gonna give it a little bit of sweetness. And then we'll hit it with a little barbecue sauce. And we got the St. Louis style ribs coming out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that, you know, meat down. And you can see how that color came out. Ooh, wee. So just lay that down, meat, meat down, and then we'll wrap it, right? So then we're just gonna take it. And then wrap it. So what I do have, I got a little bit of apple juice that I'm gonna put into these ribs. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of apple juice inside of here. And then this is just gonna create a lot of moisture, moisture, and it's gonna keep the ribs nice and moist. 
and then we'll just wrap those bad boys and we'll double wrap them and put them back into the grill. All right, so you see, I broke a bunch of rules of barbecuing, right? So when we're smoking, you know, we normally keep that meat side up so you can protect it. But when you see what I did, I turned that rib again after that first 45 minutes and then let that rib meat just kind of get a, a nice little crust from the, the direct heat. And then we took them out and now we're going to wait another hour with them wrapped. And I'm going to tell you guys, man, just looking at the color and it coming out at that second 45 minute mark. So about an hour and a half and they look great. So now after we take them out after that hour, that hour mark, I think it's going to be fantastic. Then we're going to see which rib tastes the best. Do we go with the St. Louis or do we go with the baby back? So we'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glaze them, you know, just give them a little bit more you know color to them pop we're gonna put this back into the um smoker for about you know 10 15 more minutes and then bring them out man but look at those man i mean colors already there not really much you really had to do to them but i just want to give them an extra you know what i'm saying pop of color and flavor but look at them ribs man And there we go, right there, finished product. And you can see it right there. These are the baby back ribs. These are the St. Louis ribs right here. Look at the color, amazing color on it. And I mean, it just looks good, man. And I'm sure that thing tastes absolutely amazing. So as you can see, those ribs coming out the smoker, you got the St. Louis and then you got the baby back ribs, right? So. I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece, and this was the baby bag. Look at that, that glaze on there. I'm gonna take a piece of this, a bite. Mm. Woo -woo. You can see it fall off the bone. Still got a little bite to it. That's how I like it. That's pretty good. Let's get to the St. Louis reel. See that? That's that glaze on that thing. That's absolutely amazing too. So you see if we cook both ribs, same technique, same seasoning, same barbecue sauce, all the whole nine was the same. However, with the baby back ribs, they were more fall off the bone. But with the St. Louis rib, it still had that bite, you know, that you like with the ribs. So for me, it's either you like fall off the rump bone ribs if you go with this this type cook style or if you still like a bite so for me it's gonna be the st louis rib because i still like a little bite on my rib right but both of them were fantastic man so if you're new to this channel smash that subscribe button and you already know man if you've been riding with me for a while we're almost to a thousand subscribers i'm about to smash into these ribs man i will see y'all guys later peace